guys, so today's video is going to be a spring makeup haul. I mean, I guess they're kind of spring themed, not really, but if you guys want to see all of that, then keep on watching. Okay, so the first product that I bought is one I'm super, super excited about. I just got this like about two or three days ago in the mail, and it is the Carly Bible Palette by BH Cosmetics. I really, really think this palette is super pretty. At first, I didn't really know who Carly Bible was. I only found out about her because of her collab with BH Cosmetics, and her palette is so pretty. I'm sure all of you guys have seen this palette, but yeah, it is a 14 color eyeshadow and highlight palette. This is what the palette looks like. It is gorgeous. The shimmer shadows are pigmented even without primer, and the highlight is pigmented as well. I'm going to be posting a picture of the swatches right here. And yeah, I really, really like this palette. I haven't gotten a chance to experiment with this palette yet because I just got it two days ago. And then the next place I went to is Walmart. And I have been obsessed with these things lately. And these are fake nails. This specific brand from Kiss, or specific, um, what do you call it, style, I guess, or specific line from Kiss is super amazing. Like, it stays on your nails and it doesn't get, like, thick. You know what I mean? Like, when you put, oh my gosh, my nail just came off. I have no idea what happened to it. These are the Gel Fantasy Nail Kit thing, and it comes with, um, like, nail tab stickers and, like, nail glue and, like, a stick thing, cuticle pusher or something like that. But yeah, these are so pretty. I wore these for prom, and I will insert a picture right here. And yeah, I've been freaking obsessed with fake nails because, like, they're so easy to put on and stuff. Okay, the next product that I got is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. I've seen a lot of like rave about this on YouTube and I decided to try it out myself. I'm actually wearing it right now. I'm in the shade 03 Light Beige and I'm about like a Maybelline Fit Me 220. Yeah. I really like this foundation but it does kind of get sticky if you like sweat stuff so I don't think this is sweat proof but it is really really full coverage and I don't even need to use concealer but yeah this does stay on all day okay the last thing that I got from the drugstore is this Maybelline Fit Me foundation stick and I got in the color 330 Toffee and I just bought this because I wanted to try like cream contour and stuff and this stuff is really nice if you're just like starting out with cream contour I'm actually using this on my face, but I don't know if you guys can tell because I set it with a bronzer, so yeah. Next, I went to Sephora. I went on like two or three trips to Sephora, and I just put all of them in this one bag. So the first thing that I got is the Tartlet in Bloom palette. I'm so excited about this. I'm so happy I decided on this palette because I don't really have a lot of palettes that are like rosy toned. The packaging is super pretty and the colors are so freaking pretty oh my gosh I love these colors I'm actually wearing um this leader on my crease not crease outer V um firecracker on my lid and smarty pants on my crease and I love this palette it's super pigmented and I will be posting pictures of the swatches right here somewhere and yeah I love this palette it's super pretty next I got the Sephora favorites lash stash to go because I don't really like getting full-size mascaras from Sephora because they're super expensive and I don't know if it's gonna work it just comes with the Ciate or Ciate I don't know how to say it but it has the triple shot mascara it has the Marc Jacobs O lash mascara I think oh Oh my gosh, it's falling. It has the Milk Makeup um, Mascara. It has the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and the Tarte Tardist Mascara. And this Tarte Mascara, I have never tried it yet, but look at the packaging. Like, what is this? What is this packaging? Like, is this broken or something? Like, right off the bat, I already can tell that I don't like it. 
because of the packaging, but I don't know if it's supposed to be like this. I, I don't know. Yeah, this is a really good deal. You also get like a voucher, so you can get like your favorite mascara in full size out of all five of these. Next, I got the Too Faced something about berry, not something, yeah, something, oh my gosh, what is this called? Yeah, Too Faced something about berry sweethearts blush. And at first, I was going to get Peach Beach, but it just looked like straight up glitter, and I don't think it was going to show up on my face. So, I decided to get this one, and the candy glow is just too, like, bright pink. Super, super pretty. I love it. Okay. I'm going to show you guys a swatch. Look at that. It's so pretty. Okay, I'm going to put it here. Okay. This is so pretty. Like, oh my gosh. I kind of wish I waited for the new one to come out because I think that kind of looks like what I would want more. But I still love this one. It's so pretty. The last chic item that I got is the Urban Decay Beach Bronzer in Sun... No, not Sun. In Bronze. And that is the bronzer that I'm wearing right now. And let me tell you guys. The packaging is so pretty. Oh my gosh, excuse my nail. <laughs> the packaging is so pretty. It just looks like this. I think a drugstore dupe for this could be the NYC Sunny because I kind of compared both of them and they kind of look pretty similar. But this just gives me like a natural tan look. I think it would look better if I'm like kind of tanner so it would look like more natural. Okay, so it looks like this. It's pretty. It's really like a pretty one, but... It kind of has a little bit kind of orange undertones, but I think it's really pretty. Okay, it's right here. So pretty. So I got two lip liquid lipsticks. Okay, so the first one I got is the Tardis Lip Paint in So Ador- No, not So Adorbs. Um, Love Spell. I like this color, but I think I already have something like this. This is like a kind of a dupe for um, ColourPop Lion King. I think it's like the exact same color. The only thing I don't like about this is the applicator. Like, it's just straight, like, I don't know. It kind of causes me to have an uneven application sometimes, but... I don't know, I don't, I haven't really worn this enough to say anything about it, but this is what the color looks like. It's like kind of a hot pink magenta color. Okay, I don't know where I'm going to swatch it. I'm going to swatch it here. This is kind of like a thick formula. Yeah, it just looks like this. Kind of like a magenta color. It's, I think it's really pretty. Like, I love hot pink magenta color. Okay, the last liquid lipstick that I got is actually what I'm wearing right now, and this is the... Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in soft lilac. At first, I was going to get catnip, but it was kind of dark, and I tried this on, and I liked it better, so, yeah. So, this is, yeah, this is exactly what it looks like, and I'm just going to be swatching it right here. These lipsticks are so, like, nice. I love this color, like... I don't really go for purple colors, but this just, like, spoke to me. Like, it's so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, I think that is all for this makeup haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it and kind of found some of these helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. See you guys in my next video. Bye! Okay. Oh my gosh, so excited guys. Here it is.